In this presentation, we will take a look at a balanced scorecard approach to measure performance. When we consider a balanced scorecard approach, what we're trying to do is measure the performance of different divisions within an organization. As we consider the measurement of how different organizations are doing, we typically think of financial goals, financial perspectives, putting together financial reports of some type, responsibility accounting reports, that will then show the performance of each division. And that's gonna be very important. That's gonna be one of the fundamental factors of what we put together. However, we might wanna to put together other things that are gonna be involved rather than just the financial perspectives because the financial perspectives often don't take into account all the things that are necessary within a department. So to effectively measure the performance of the department, we might want to put together some type of balancing scorecard. In other words, we're going to put together some groups of things that we think are important for a particular department, including the financial perspectives of it. And then we'll somehow balance those items so that we can come out with a measure of how each department is doing based on those things. Notice that as we do this, although we're not talking about financial data all the way through, we want to make this thing as uh, as transparent as possible. We wanna be able to say each department, each department manager knows what they're gonna be measured on. We wanna make sure the measurement is as fair as we can, as transparent as we can, so that when, when they go and they actually perform, they know what they're gonna be, what they're expected to do and what they're gonna be measured on in terms of performance. One of the reasons that we measure